Well, hello everyone. Welcome to our maths extravaganza. So I'm so excited about this next half an hour and I, I hope that you all are as well. But before I introduce us all, the first thing I want to say is a huge congratulations to all of you winning the golden ticket. Uh, we were just so proud that so many of you won the ticket and were able to come and join us today. So before we get on with all the fun activities that we've got planned, um, I'm going to introduce the people that are with us today. So first of all, I'm Fiona and I'm really pleased, as I said, to see you all. And I've also got with me Junaid. Hi everyone, I'm so excited to be here and it's always fun doing maths with Fiona so I can't wait to see what you've got to share with us today. Thank you and I've also got Eileen with us. Hello everyone, I'm excited as well with the maths extravaganza that we're having so let's have fun. Great, okay so whilst you've been waiting um, hopefully you've had a go at the puzzle that you can see on your screen now. So we've got to try and get from the start to the top and we're trying to work out how many different ways there are to do this, but you are only allowed to go up. So there is one route that you can already see on the screen and the way we've described it is, let me get my laser, is we go from the start we go obviously to the left and then to the right then to the left and then to the right so maybe if you can in the chat you could maybe tell us the different ways that you've been trying or if not maybe just use your finger and you can just be tracing the different routes um that we can actually go from the start to the top. So I wonder, Junaid, have, have you been having a go at this? I, I have. We're getting a few through the chat as well. I, I'm I'm going to be a bit boring. I hope for this wall. I'm going to I'm going to go to the right. Going to go to the right. So let me yeah, I'm going to pour it on the outside. I'm going to go to the right, do the opposite of what you did before. You're going to go to the right. right. Okay. Yeah. yeah. And I'm going to stay on the outside. So I want to go right again. OK, so we're going forward. Yeah. Step forward and now it looks like I'm not allowed to go back, am I? You're not allowed to go down, no. So let's go forward again, which I guess is, is left or forward. Yeah. I'm going to go left, yeah. And I think I'm almost there. Yeah. One more. Yeah. Another left. And to the top. Great. I guess that's right, right, left, left. We, we have someone in the chat saying you can go right, left, right, left which starts out the same way as me. Ah, oh, right, let but me have then... a go. Let me just put another colour. So we're talking right, left, right, left. Yeah, we're getting, right. yeah, we're getting loads of others. Do you want another one? Let's do, let's do one more. Yeah, go on, one, one more. more. We've got, I, I, I think this is the opposite of what I did. Left and then left. So left, left, yeah. And then right and then right. Right and then right, okay. Right, let's move on then, because the ways that we've just all said are actually on the screen. But my big question is, are there any other ways? Has anyone found anything different? Are there just four ways or are there more? Has anyone else put anything in the chat? Let's see, um, I think these are, these are all... We can, oh, there's one, uh, we, have, we have one from a couple of minutes ago, left right right left i don't think that right. one's on the screen can you say that again to me go on say that again yep. we're going from the left start. so we're going left yeah yeah and then right right yeah and then right again ah oh, yes so it's kind of like combining those two yeah. zigzags and then left great but do you know what i'm going to leave it there because i think there might be some more ways. So I'm going to leave you to actually work that out. We're going to have a puzzle sheet at the end that we're going to send out. And this is in there. So you can have a go and try out all those different routes in your own time. Right. OK, so as I said, we're going to have so much fun today. And today we're looking at 3D shapes and we're going to do some magical things with 3D shapes. Now, 
I think this is an easy question, but could you pop in the chat? What shape can you see in front of you now? What have we got coming through, Janae? Yeah, we've got someone saying cube. Cube. We've got Ready. no. Yeah. It's, going, it's going. It's exploding. Peter. <laughs> it's they're all saying crazy. cube. And we've got we've got one with full capital letters as well. So oh, they're, getting, they're they're very confident. Okay. There's so, no one saying anything except. Oh, someone said cuboid. That's interesting. Oh, okay. Well, we'll have a look at that in a minute. But whilst we're talking of a cube, would you like to see a floating cube? You're going to make the cube float. This will be interesting. But you know what? I'm going to I'm going to come onto full screen now. Great. So, would you like to see one? What are they putting in the chat? Would they like to see a floating cube? All right. Let's hear you in the chat. A floating cube. I don't even know what that's going to look like. What does that mean? A floating okay. cube. Are you yes. Ready? Yes. Yes. Okay. We've got some enthusiasm. Capital letters. Yes. Okay. So, I'm going to bring it closer. Here we go. Is that floating? Look, my Whoa. hands are unattached to it. There we go. That what's that? Some kind of magnet or something, Fiona? That that's def. I don't, is everyone else? Yeah, everyone else saying, "Wow, magic!" It is. It looks like magic. It is. It's moving around. So what is it like a magnet or something? Well, do you know what? You think I'm... Zoom tricks on us? <laughs> I'm going to let you into the secret at the end of this session. So They're hang shouting, on. Fiona, how did you do that? <laughs> they're accusing you of all sorts. They're saying uh, it's an illusion. <laughs> no, I tell you what, if you stay on to the end, I'll let you into my secret. Okay, how does that sound? So that sounds right. good. So, so let's get rid we're, we're, of we're gonna We're gonna find that in about 20 minutes or so. Okay, great, that's great. My so, Let's go back to sharing my screen and right, so we'll, we'll share the the floating cube in a minute and now we've done the magic already. So over the summer we had the challenge which we know all of you participated in but part of the challenge was um, some activities that you could do offline. So it's about getting outside and trying and making different things, doing different puzzles, rather than just being sat um, doing maths with. So I don't know if you recognize, but here, let me go back to my laser here, we have some cubes. Okay. And we, we said that earlier, that's a cube, but we have a rather unusual looking cube here. And this was part of the summer challenge was to make your own cube. Now, I don't know if it's very obvious, but here it's been made out of something like Play-Doh, something or clay, something that holds things together. And these brown things here are sticks, okay? And what we've actually done is we've made a cube using that blue Play-Doh and using some stick. Now the blue part here, they're called vertices. They're the corners of the cube where all the different edges come in to join. And the sticks represent the actual edge of the cube. So hopefully you can see now how that looks. And I actually call this a skeleton cube because you can see all the way through it. Now, I've got a little challenge for you now. I don't know how good you are with your 3D shapes and whether you can name them, but we're gonna have a look at three different 3D shapes now, and we're going to see how many sticks and how many bits of Play-Doh we need to actually make them. So let's look at the challenge. So what I want you to do now is to match the balls and the straws. The balls are obviously the bits of Play-Doh that we stick them with and the straws to each of those different 3D shapes. Now, I'm just going to show you because i don't know if you've heard of these but the first one we've got there is a triangular prism now i don't know um but certainly in the uk we have a wonderful uh bar of chocolate called a toblerone very and popular in this house fiona <laughs> shaped just like that i couldn't get to the shops to get one but what i have got is my glasses case and i don't know if you can see that it is shaped just like, like the a toblerone prism there we go so that's our triangular prism it's got a triangle at each end okay and then obviously it's got them rectangular faces as well 
The other shape, now, this is where you're gonna to start to get to know me because this is my favorite cereal, is, I love crunching up cornflakes. Oh. There we go, but- A lot of sugar in that one, Fiona. <laughs> That's very unlike you. But I have to admit, it's my favorite too. Is it? Yeah, well, the person that said cuboid earlier, this yep. is a cuboid, okay? Now, cuboids can come in, in sometimes they can just, they can have square faces on the ends. Sometimes they can be rectangular faces on the ends. And then they've got the rectangular faces joining, okay? So um, hopefully you're trying to work out now how many vertices there are, how many edges. Now, the last one, I found this really hard, but I've actually made my own, I don't know if you can see this very clearly, made my own pyramid don't know how clear oh there we go yeah bring it right up close yeah yeah to the camera and there is a square because we've got a square base a pyramid uh there okay so, so square on the bottom and then triangles all the way around is that right you're absolutely right and there are four triangles that go all the way around right okay so having a look at those shapes then Maybe we can start putting in the chat. There might be a lot to put in the chat actually, but which do you think? So we've got eight balls and 12 straws. Which one do you think that matches to? We've got six balls and nine straws. Which one do you think that matches to? And the last one is five balls and eight. So I think uh, we're getting a couple of answers for the first one, Fiona. So the right. eight balls and 12 straws, we reckon cuboid is, is now a popular answer. Cuboids. Okay, so let me with my laser. Um, so we've got one there. Oh, actually, do you know, let's do a pen. That's going to be a lot easier, isn't it? Or I could even try and move them. Let's move. Let's move. Let's click off that. Right. So right. Let's let's move. So we've got what? Oh, hang on. It's going to hide behind it, isn't it? I think I'm going to draw instead. I think that will be quicker. Right. Yeah, so squiggles. Yeah. So we've got one, two three, four, five, six, I hope you're counting with me, seven, eight, eight. So absolutely. Now I'm not going to try and count all of the edges as well, but we know we've got four here, four here, and then four going round. So absolutely. Yeah, and you've got to be very careful when you're doing them not to double count because some of these edges are on like, you know, they're all on like two different rectangles aren't they so you've got to make sure you don't double count i think there is 12 yeah four four and four yeah so but what's really nice if you actually go to make the shape you have to then work it all out so you're counting as right. you're making the shapes that's quite nice so what about then six balls nine straws what all right so right six now? balls and nine straws i think there were a few answers before but let's let's see what comes through now they're thinking so waiting i'm going to start counting one two, three, four, five. Yeah, someone says triangular prism. Great. That's the one you're going with. And Great. yeah, that was six, wasn't it? Yep. Yep, another Great. one, triang triangular prism is definitely, Lovely. someone's still interesting, it's cuboid, but that's okay. Um, so I think we've said cuboid is definitely eight, eight, eight and 12. Good. And yeah, triangular prism is the popular choice now. Great. And then the last one, obviously we don't need to work it out now, five balls and eight straws. And if I click on that, I think I can actually move these. So there we go. So we've got one, two, three, there we go, four. And, oh no, we don't want to move the name. Let's find the ball, right, there we go. So there we have our five vertices and then I, I'll just move one. Oh, it is going to move, move one. So that's how you then join it to make your edge right. and you need to then join the other seven as well. Okay, are we ready for a bit more magic? What do we think? Because I've what got some magic. more magic. More magic? Right, well, let's- Yeah, let's the thing more magic, go ahead. Okay, are you ready? Right, so what? I'm going to do now is I'm going to make some skeleton shapes and I've got one that I've started to make because I thought you don't want to be watching me for hours and hours just making um, these shapes but what I'm using are some straws 
but this time, instead of using the Play-Doh or the balls where we join it, I'm going to use some bendy wire, a bit like pipe cleaners, because what's really good is you can actually poke the bendy wire into the straw, okay? And then what I'm going to do, so I started to make, now I've messed up to make another, another 3D shape. This time it's going to be a pyramid, but it's going to have a triangle as its base. And that's called, uh, oh, do you know what it's called? Anyone? I know what it's called, yes. but how about does anyone else know what it's called? So it's triangles all the way around. Triangles all the way around, including yeah, the base everywhere. Let's see if anyone's going to put that in the chat. Right, so whilst you're trying to guess the name of the shape... So I'm someone gonna... says pyramid. It is a it is a type of pyramid, yeah. but it has a special name because it's got triangles all the way around. And and one and so someone says triangular pyramid. That's one of the names for it, yeah. absolutely. But there's something special about this one because they're all triangles and they're all the same size. And... It, if you count them, there's four triangles all the way around. So the, 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 the name for this has something to do with the number four. It uses the number four somehow. Okay. This is a really hard question. I'm being... Really... Oh, yeah. I, I didn't know this until I was like 25. So I wouldn't <laughs> expect... Don't, right, don't, well, don't be hard on yourselves if you don't know. But we're about to tell you. Right. So what, what I'm going to do then. So if I just quickly take some of these apart. So what I've done is I've then put... Oh gosh, all falling apart. So I, I'm putting the bendy straws into, so the bendy wire into the straws, and I'm going to do that there. And I've just got the last bit to do. So I'm actually going to put that end into the top there so it joins. Let's push I, I love some of these uh, answers, by the way. Someone says, is it a quadrangular pyramid? Quad oh, really? coming from four. <laughs> And that's not <laughs> that's not half bad. I mean, in a, in it could well be called a quadrangular pyramid. Why not? Yeah. yeah. Uh, are we ready to tell them what it's actually called? Yeah. Are you going to tell them, or do you want me to? I'll tell them just to prove that I I I, I know it's okay. called it's a tetrahedron. It's one of my favourite shapes. So um, tetra is is four. If you've ever played the game Tetris, they're always blocks of four, aren't they? And so tetra comes. I think is it Greek for four. Uh, and so tetrahedron is, is telling you it's three dimensional and it's four sides. And so if you're ever playing a, a board game and you want to roll a dice, but not with six sides, because if it's six sides, you, you'll use a normal dice, which is a cube. But if you only want to use four numbers, you need a four sided dice, but you want it to be fair. So you want all the sides to be the same. And the only way you can do that is with a tetrahedron. Where yeah. they're all triangles. So I wonder if anyone knows then the face here is a triangle, but it's a special sort of triangle. Do we know the name of that triangle? So all the sides are the same, or all the edges here, they're the same length. So it's got a special name, this triangle. So what do we call a triangle where all the sides are the same length? And it was- Ah, oh, well we done, here we go. Equilateral triangle, <laughs> brilliant. Brilliant. Equal. Right. You can kind of see the word equal in there because they're all equal in length. Brilliant. Right. It's time for the magic. I've got two shapes. So I've got my cube again and I've got my tetrahedron and I'm going to do some magic. So to get the magic going, I need to move this because I need a dark background. Oh my gosh. Ooh. Are you thinking you're going to pull a rabbit out? <laughs> <laughs> I wish. Yeah. Right. Oh, awesome. And I need <laughs> this. What have I got? So, this is a bucket, it is full of water, and it's got a magic ingredient, washing up liquid. <laughs> Does it have to be fairy? <sighs> or, or fairy sponsoring this for whoever not? No, no, no. But that's I'm, our favourite, isn't it? It is, it does work better with fairy, but you know, give it a go with others as well. So, what, I did this earlier, because you can see my washing up liquid is blue, and the water is blue. So I've already put in, about 100 millilitres. Now make sure you ask your parents when you do this at home. We, we don't want to get complaints that, that you've wasted all the washing up liquid. So how much do you need, Fiona? How much washing well, up Well, I mean, this bucket, oh gosh, I don't know how you know what the size of the bucket is. There's probably about four litres of water in here um, okay. and about 100 millilitres. But it, it's a bit of guesswork, you know, yeah. as 
yeah. And it's nice and blue, then then you know that you've, you've got enough. Yeah, and it's, I don't know um, if any of you have had a go with this, but you know you can get those little containers where there's a wand that goes in some um, solution and you pull it out and you can blow bubbles. Bubbles, yeah, we love yeah, that. It's yeah, like that, that. so it's got, to, it's got to be able to make a film. So, what I want to know from you all now is I've made my shapes the right size so that I can dip them totally into the water. And that's really important. So if you go to do this, make sure your your shape, your 3D shape will actually fit in. Otherwise, it's not going to work. Mm. But I wonder if I dip, I'm going to do this one first. If I dip this into the solution and pull it out, what do you think is going to happen? Mm, interesting. Ooh, By the way, a, a few students are naming the shape of your tub. They're saying it's a cylinder and they're absolutely ah, right. <laughs> we're, 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 we're into the whole naming thing today. Okay, so any ideas? So I'm going Bubbles! In. Someone's saying we're going to see bubbles. Ah, bubbles. Okay, what sort of bubbles? Oh, a triangle, a diamond. Okay. High expectations. Right, okay. <laughs> no pressure oh, now, Fiona. Disappointed, maybe. Right, no pressure. Here we go. Right, so we've got our black screen ready. So Each triangle yeah. will have a soapy film, so we're, I think we're expecting it all to just be filled with, filled up with foam. Right. You have to be really careful how you hold this. Sometimes people put a bit of a, a handle on it as well, because I really need to make sure that I'm not really holding too much of it, otherwise it's going to spoil what's going to happen. Okay. So, are you ready? So someone thinks it's going to flow. Let me say, what do you think? No, it's not going. Oh, yes, it does. There we go. Oh, it just sticks. Wow. It was slowly, it's the, drawing the water in. It's slowly. Right. right, anyway, so here we go. So I'm going to immerse it in. So it's right under the water. Can you see? There we go. You can see, yep. Yep. And I'm going to slowly pull it out. Right now, I'm going to here. What can you can you see? So one says no way, so they're clearly amazed by yeah. what they see. We're hearing a wow as well. Yes. Oh, it's popped. I'll put it in again. Right, it's all slippy and slidey, so you have to be careful. Make sure you have lots of towels around when you do this. Right. Oh, hang on. Right, let's do it again. We'll bring it out. There we go. So don't know if I hold it against. There we go. That's probably the best shot you're going to see. So what is happening is the the because I've got a soapy solution like washing up liquid in there, it forms a, a film, which is the bubble when you see a bubble. So what it's doing is it's actually attaching itself to the edges. And then as I pull it out, it's then it's the shortest distance. It is quite it wants to um, to attach itself to the shortest distance, and that's why I've got the indentations here as to how it goes in, because like, I can put my finger right. in there. Because I don't want to waste any any more foam than it has to. No, exactly. Right. Okay. So that's that's our tetrahedron. Wow. Let's try the cube. I think I think we like that one. Right. Is this one going to be just as good? <laughs> this is my favourite, if I'm honest. I think it's probably the best. I'm going to see if I can get it. So I have to be really careful, hardly touching it. Right, see it's immersed. We're expecting more bubbles, according to the chat. Right, OK. Ooh. This is OK. Can you see there? But I can do better than that because at the moment it's, it's just a square in the centre. Don't know if you can see that. Yeah. Yeah. But watch yeah. again because I'm going to try and do it so it really is. Truly, oh no, come on. And, and is it a square thing or is it a cube? Is it? It's well, that, that was a square, but if I'm really clever, oh, it will do it, it will do it. If you keep dipping it in, this is like it works earlier. Come on, here we go. Now, I don't know, I've actually got a cube. Amazing. It's another floating cube. Another you, floating cube. You've done it again, this time using washing up look. How do you do it? There we go. Well, everyone can do this, right? You just yeah, exactly. You, exactly. you it's haven't, you haven't done any magic tricks. You've just, it's exactly as we've seen it. You've just yeah. taken your cube, dipped it in, yeah. and physics and maths takes yeah. care of the rest. The only thing I'd 
been careful of is I've made a cube and I know with a cube all of the edges are the same length. So I have to make sure that they're all the same length. Um, otherwise, it's still there. It's amazing, isn't it? It makes you think, what if they weren't the same length? If it was like a cuboid, would we get a cuboid, a mini cuboid inside? You know, Janine, you know, I was going to say that. I haven't got time to make all the shapes today, but I wonder, you know, with the triangular prism that we spoke about earlier, like my glass case, what shape would that inside, you know? Um, a mini Toblerone inside a, inside yeah. a Toblerone. And you're right, with the cuboid, what will that be? So, I hope you enjoyed that. Um, and it is something really easy, so as long as you get permission to do it, you just need a bucket, some washing up liquid, um, and try and make, yeah, the... Uh, you could make it without straws, actually, but you've got to try and attach things. But have an experiment, have a different... Well, I think we're getting oh. some prediction. People are making predictions in the chat. They're saying if, if you do it with a cuboid, you're going to get a mini cuboid. Only one way to find out. Yeah. Go ahead, get, get some washing up liquid, ask your parents, and then just go wild. Just have fun with it. Try different shapes. You'll be amazed. Absolutely. Right. So we're very close to the end, unfortunately, because I'm having so much fun. I don't want it to end. I did say that I would let you into my secret. So our floating cube, do you remember? Let yes. Me let me bring the floating back. cube back. The and there's no washing up liquid in this one, is there? <laughs> So, do you want to know how it's done? What do you think, everyone? Do we want to know, or should we let it stay as a mystery? Oh, I've got a yes. I'm uh, I've got lots of yeses. Done. They all want to there's know. Not, there's not enough yeses yet. I'm not sure I'm going to show you yet. Oh, it's... <laughs> yes, yes. We've got yes with lots of yeses. Oh, okay, yeah. Okay. It looks like 3D. Do you know, I forgot to say, actually, try covering one eye mm. as well. Particularly if you're going to do this at home to try and um, trick people, yeah. maybe do it to cover up one eye because I think it looks a bit different when you do it on the camera. Right. So, yeah. Okay, now this is an optical illusion. Okay. And this isn't really a cube at all. Okay. But because of the way it's been put together, it's confused your brain into thinking that it's a cube. Now, that's a bit mind-blowing, isn't it? Okay. So your brain is thinking that you can see a cube, but it's not actually a cube at all. Now, that is a cube, Fiona. There's, there's no way you can tell me that's not a cube. <laughs> it's not. It's not a cube. It really is. Well, if it's not a cube, then what is it? It's an optical illusion. It's your brain tricking you. So, once I show you, you're going to be like, oh yes, and I think you might see this cube a little differently. So are you ready for the big reveal? Are you ready? One, two, three. So. Oh, no way. So it is, it looks like a cube as soon as I go like that, but it's actually, I've got a little holder, let me go close, and I've got a template, I'm putting my fingers inside there now. Can you see, I've only got one, two, I've only got three faces. Well, that's not a cube, is it? Now, most people on the chat are saying, wow, superb. And I agree with them. Wow. So there's one person who's saying, I knew it all along. <laughs> Good for you. If you knew it all along, then we're never yeah. going to fool you with anything, are we? Um, yeah. But th that's amazing. And in the puzzle sheet, there's instructions for how to make this. Yeah, there's, there's going to be a Sorry? Is it straightforward to make? Yeah, it's just simple. Well, you need a printer. Although I guess okay. you, could, you could draw it from the screen. Try and draw it from the screen. Um, yeah, and just need some paper and some scissors. Cut it out and a bit of glue to stick together. That's all it is. So definitely okay. look out for that puzzle sheet, which we're going to share with you um, after this session, because we're going to have the the puzzle from earlier, where we the, the, the different paths. We're going to yeah. have this as well. Um, and all the instructions all the washing up liquid stuff yeah, yeah. how to do your the magic with the uh, with the bubbles so. um you've been given 10 out of 10 by the way for that trick by oh thank you great so you know lots of fun um but also you know we're having fun but we're actually doing lots of mathematics at the same time with the vocabulary trying to work out how things are working thinking about the vertices thinking about the edges of the, of the 3d shapes all their properties so 
brilliant fun so i'm afraid the time is up and i've had so much fun and i hope you have as well and i would really love you know please have a look at the puzzle sheet and I don't, don't know if they can contact us, but it'd be great just to hear what they're getting up to with um, some of the things that we've been doing today. So, um, yeah, I'm sure Eileen would love to hear from you. Um, <laughs> and yeah, so do, do get in touch. Um, we loved hearing from some of you during the summer challenge when you were sharing your answers to some of the activities. Um, so, yeah, just keep doing that. It's great to see your thinking brought to life. And yeah, doesn't time fly when you're having fun doing that? <laughs> so much fun yeah i've been so excited all day so uh, yeah please right so thank you so much and once again big congratulations we really appreciate the fact all of you took your time over the summer to do some maths every day which is really really good so well done to you all amazing thank you great thank you see you soon